owners to face? What about your ask an SPMD? Well, um, I, I think, I mean, obviously they're all great bowlers, but Shane Warne, I always felt he bowled two, I, two deliveries. I would tell myself he bowled two deliveries. His stock ball, which came down halfway down the wicket and then sort of swung into leg stump and then turned across, you know, and then he bowled a straight one. Uh, he, he would look for his LBWs. And I, I tried to whittle it down to kind of those two deliveries. And, and actually, that sort of simple game plan helped me. Um, I often he would the ball would swing into leg stump, and I was quite a good sweeper, so I'd get a few sweeps away and score, which you know always helps as well. Um, and, and and in some ways, I found in my career someone like Mushtaq Ahmed, uh, of course, uh, some of fans will know, wouldn't they? Um, he he turned balls both ways, uh, leg break and googly and actually was quite difficult to read from the hand. So I, in some ways I found him harder than, than Warren. Um, the uh, Gre Glenn McGraw we know is metronome, but not many balls threaten the stumps. So if you left well and you were patient, you know, you try and got through his spell. Brett Lee we knew was very, very quick, but because it was so quick, if it hit the bat, it normally camped off for a few runs somewhere. So that was okay. So funny enough, I actually found Jason Gillespie in 2001 the most difficult bowler. And the reason for that was he was quite a tall guy and he had this kind of bounding run up and get up and very quick arm. And you, you, you wanted to stay on the back foot, but often he would bowl a, a foolish length and uh, he got me out of OBW I think a couple of times. And, and so I found him in a way uh, the most difficult out of the four.